Los Angeles Lakers. They sign another old friend here, Kent Bazemore, signs a one-year minimum contract. So this is the fourth guy of the day the Los Angeles Lakers signed. They signed Wayne Ellington, they signed Dwight Howard, they signed Trevor Ariza, and now Kent Bazemore. Those guys were former Lakers at one time. So the Lakers, they're just bringing in a bunch of vets, like I mentioned, because they're capped out with Westbrook, Anthony Davis, and LeBron. And last season, Bazemore, he had some good flashes throughout the year with the Golden State Warriors. 7.2 points a game, 3.4 rebounds, 1.6 assists, a steal a game, 1.1 threes a game, 69% from the foul line, and 44% from the field. So Bazemore, we know we could go off on some games. And last season, we saw him have a few games and a stretch where he scored 20 points or more. And for this Laker team, he's definitely going to get minutes right now. Because like I mentioned, this Laker team, they don't have many guys on the roster. Probably eight or nine guys on the roster after the four signings today here. So they're going to keep him bringing in veterans. And I'm surprised Carmelo Anthony so far. I know it's only a few hours into free agency, but that he hasn't signed what best friend LeBron James in the Lakers. And obviously that's been a rumor the last two seasons, but with them bringing in Kemp Bazemore and obviously Trevor Ariza will play the same positions at Carmelo Anthony. I don't think he might be coming now, Ismelo, if he wants a little more money than the veterans minimum, even though he's looking to chase a ring, I would think, in his final seasons. But anyway, Bazemore, it's a good signing for the Lakers. Another guy who could hit the corner three and even a guy who could create his own shot off the bench for this Laker team. So right now, their starting five probably will be Westbrook, obviously, at the one. LeBron, small forward. Davis, powered forward. Dwight Howard, center. And then you're even going to have Wayne Ellington or McKinney as one of your shooting guards right now. But this Laker team is far from being done here. They've got about six or seven roster spots opening. And Kane Bazemore, I don't think it really have fantasy value coming into the season. But hey, if the Lakers don't make any more impactful moves, really then he's a player that definitely could have value. But right now, you take a wait-and-see approach until all these moves are done in the offseason. But Kent Bazemore, another former Lakers, signing the veterans minimum today in the first day of free agency for the upcoming 2021-22 season.